Greetings, this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps with another medical app review. Today we're taking a look at a procedure app called Regional Anesthesia Assistant. This app comes to us from Dr. Guy Weinberg, who's a practicing anesthesiologist at the University of Illinois, Chicago. This app walks you through the process of regional anesthesia. In our written part of the review, we talked about a scenario where you are an anesthesiology resident who is going to be working in the pain clinic tomorrow and had a patient who needed an infraclavicular block. Let's see you're right-handed, and that the block is going to be on the patient's left side. You can see here the list of block options. We said we we're going to do an infraclavicular block. Talks about whether it's going to be a single shot or a continuous. We'll say it's a single shot. It then lists the equipment that the author believes you will need to complete this procedure successfully, including suggested anesthetics and their dose. It then prompts you to go to the OR setup, shows where you would be oriented towards the patient, particularly if you plan to use ultrasound guidance. It then shows you the process of the probe and needle placement and the ultrasound image. You can add the needle path and vasculature, sometimes the nerve, arteries, etc., are shown in addition to the other anatomy. You can jump back to any particular spot within it and start over. Let's say we're going to do a continuous injection this time. It gives you a slightly different equipment list and then takes you to the OR setup. You can go back to the menu at any time and start over. There's quite a bit of information also on the lipidrescue.org site, which is the provider's main page where they outline an area of interest that he has called Lipid Rescue, which is using lipid emulsion for local anesthetic toxicity also called LAST, even gives a, a nice review of the literature of some recent articles on that process. Quite a bit of information is listed here, although it'd be nice to see some of it in the app itself. So what are some things I liked about Regional Anesthesia Assistant? I like the fact it walks you through the process of performing the procedure step by step, including even listing the uh, pers perspective of the patient and provider. I like the quality images and still animation that's listed for anatomy and ultrasound. I like the checklist of sorts it gives for medications and needles, etc. needed for the procedure. I didn't like the fact that there weren't any embedded videos or full animations. I think that would really make the app uh, that much better. There also weren't any hyperlinks for references in the app. You had to go to the lipidrescue.org site for those. There really isn't a whole lot of information about the procedures themselves. Again, if you take a look, let's just go to one of those areas again on, say, popliteal block. It doesn't talk anything about the indications for the procedure, or contraindications for the procedure, any description of it. Sort of a just a bare minimum assistant of what you need to perform that particular procedure. Also, interestingly enough, I'm recording this today on my iPad as there is no iPhone app for this. It is available for Android. Not sure why they don't have an iPhone version. It certainly looks nicer on the iPad, but it would work in my opinion, probably just as effectively on an iPhone in landscape view, etc. So that's my look at the app Regional Anesthesia Assistant. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps. Take care.